What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel for another Pow World breed. Today we're going to be taking a look at Phalaris. Uh, Phalaris is an absolute beast of a fire damage uh, pal. And then additionally, Phalaris is also conveniently the third fastest flying mount in the game. So you do get a little value, a little transportation value out of your Phalaris, no doubt, and still get that big, big damage bombs that uh, Phalaris offers. Now, one of the things that makes Phalaris so powerful is they do have a special ability uh, just for them, and that is the Phoenix Flare. Phalaris is going to learn this at level 30, uh, I've got it combined with Fireball and Ignis Rage, and it just does an absolute ton of damage. Now, since we're full on fire here to maximize the fire damage, we are going with Flame Emperor, Ferocious, Musclehead, and Legend. Now, if you wanted to mix and match or didn't want to jump through as many hoops to get Flame Emperor on, you could go with Lucky, get slightly less of a damage bonus, but have it apply to... Uh, all all damage types. So Flame Emperor is what I chose to use as I wanted to get the maximum possible value out of it. And Ferocious Musclehead Flame Emperor and Legend is the sweet spot for me. Now, this one does require jumping through a few hoops. So let's take a look at it. Now, of course, I used the spreadsheet from Reddit to go through and figure out the path I wanted to take to get this done. Uh, I will link that down in the description below. Now, to make a Phalaris, we, there's only two ways to make it. Uh, either combine two Phalaris or to combine a Van Worm and an Anubis. Van Worm and Anubis is the only crossbreeding way to make Phalaris. Now, you can find Phalaris naturally, of course, if you wanted to take that route for some good bases. And Phalaris will be located up on the northeastern uh, Sanctuary Island. So Phalaris will be a rare spawn there. And you can go there and capture Phalaris to your heart's content. However, we want to get everything dialed in on this one. Start from the ground up. Uh, once again, Van Worm and Anubis. Now, I took the Ragnarok path, basically. <laughs> the Ragnarok path, that is. Uh, to get Flame Emperor and Legend on uh, my Van Worm. Uh, Anubis was a lot easier. Musclehead and Ferocious. In fact, you could just farm Anubis and try to get Musclehead and Ferocious, um, which is a very viable choice. However, I had a Pen King with Ferocious and Musclehead and a Bushy with Ferocious, and of course, by combining these two, give you an Anubis. So that's how I got my Anubis. Now, the difficult chain comes on the Van Worm side. We want Flame Emperor and Legend. Flame Emperor, of course, is only going to generate from Blazamont. And then Legend will be on any of the Legendary Pals throughout the game, so you can take uh, pick your choice there. So to make a Van Worm, I got Flame Emperor and Legend on a Ragnahawk, combined it with a Deer to make my Flame Worm, um, or to make my Van Worm, pardon me. Uh, the Deer, of course, if you don't have any passives on it, it's uh, eliminating one bit of RNG, so... If you do have passives on your deer, you're going to want to make sure that they're just a passive you're going to use. Like, uh, for example, having Ferocious or Musclehead on it is just fine to combine with your Ragnarok. Now, the deer itself, I just found this one naturally, of course, uh, just a blank deer out in the wild. And the Ragnarok. Now, to get Ragnarok, Flame Emperor, of course, originates from Blazamut. So you can combine Blazamut and a Rayhound with Legend to get Ragnarok with Flame Emperor and Legend. Well, of course, then you have to cross-breed your Rayhound to get Regent, uh, Legend. I did that with a Jolt Hog with Ferocious and a Frostallion with Legend Ice Emperor. Um, I bred these two until I got Legend uh, on the, the Rayhound. So, ended up uh, hoping for a Legend and Ferocious Rayhound, but ended up with just a Legend Rayhound and a Flame Emperor Blazamut to make the Ragnarok, to make the Van Worm, to make the Phalaris. So a little bit of a confusing path there, as there is a few hoops to jump through on this one, 
to get the ideal passive rolls that you want. Uh, that will do it for now, though. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Uh, go get you a Phalaris and start dropping some big bombs. Thanks again, y'all. Thank you.